plane radiography is the two dimensional nature of the image. It gets you a 2D image of a 3D object. Although it is a great tool to help you find the structure you are looking for, it doesn't really tell you the exact location. Often times, dentists need to derive 3D information to understand the spatial relationship of the structures imaged. To know the exact location of an impacted tooth or a fallen object within the jaw, you might have to consider a CBCT. But hey, there's another way. You can use the slob technique and save the patient from excess radiation. I'll just show you a simple example. Consider a scenario where this purple ball is the object of interest. We want to know whether it's placed buccally or lingually or just beneath the tooth. Now, if we take an x-ray at 90 degrees, we will get an image like this. I do know the location of the object, but I do not know if it is placed buccally or lingually in relation to the tooth. It will definitely be useful for us to know if the purple ball is placed buccally or lingually in relation to the tooth. So in the first x-ray, you keep the tube head perpendicular to the object you want to take an image of. In the second x-ray, you either move the tube head mesially or distally and take another x-ray. First, let's look at a scenario when we shift the tube head distally. When I do that, the image of the ball appears to move mesially when compared to the first radiograph wherein it was just beneath the tooth. This means that I moved the tube head distally but the object of interest moved mesially. So opposite directions, right? With this information, I can simply say that the object is placed buccally in relation to the tooth using the slop technique, which is same lingual opposite buccal. So since it was opposite to each other, the location of the object is buccal. Had the object been lingual to the tooth, this is what you would see. You do the same thing, that is, shift the tube head distally. But now, in the final image, you would see that the object also moves distally. This would tell you that the object is placed lingual in relation to the tooth. This technique has various applications. You can know the exact position of an impacted tooth or a root piece. It can also be used to locate a salivary gland stone or a dislodged filling material or even a broken needle. It can also be used in endodontics to locate the canal and position of the root in the posterior tooth. Apart from this, sometimes there might be superimposition of the buccal and lingual objects. In that case, you will be able to differentiate which one is buccal and which one is lingual. The principle can also be used to decipher the location of the anatomical structures like the mental foramen which is often superimposed over the apex of the adjacent premolar and may mimic a periapical radiolucency. So this is it for slop rule. I hope you guys enjoyed the animation. So like, share and subscribe to this channel.